How's it going, fellow Samurai? And this is another episode of Sackboy A Big Adventure. And in today's episode, I'm actually. Last episode, which I just recorded, was uh, me recording commentary over the footage I recorded with my sister a day earlier. And now I'm actually playing the game. I haven't played this and actually made commentary in such a fucking long time. Anyway, bonus level, let's go. We're playing as Duke. Motherfucking Duke Nukem. I wish you could make his glasses dimmer so you couldn't see his eyes, but that's the best you can do. He looks more like uh, Duke Nukem from that cancelled Duke Nukem game, which was supposed to be like a prequel. Speaking of Duke Nukem games, I think they should absolutely make a new Duke Nukem game. It's been so long without one. But you know what? I decided, uh, There was some rumors a while back about a Duke Nukem 3D remake, which is probably the safest... Ah, oh, shit. Which is probably the safest bet uh, for a new Duke Nukem game, but... Well, oftentimes when people announce remakes, I'm like, okay, cool, we get a remake of this... Oh, shit. Of this classic game, but what's fucking next? What, we're gonna keep remaking games now? Like, are we bringing this fucking franchise back, or... We're just gonna be stuck with remakes non-stop? Now, don't get me wrong, remakes are... Nice, because some video games are outdated as fuck, but still cool classics such as uh, Gothic is getting a remake soon, and that's an incredibly outdated fucking game. Witcher 1 is getting a remake, which, uh, yeah, that's also a game that definitely needs a remake. Oh crap. And, yeah, Duke Nukem 3D was supposed to get a remake at some point. I don't know if they cancelled it, quite possibly, because... Well, the interest in... Most people's interest in Duke Nukem is completely fucking dead by now, but, like, I would fucking love a new Duke Nukem game, but... More than a new Doom game, and even, but... Oh, that was pretty easy. Nice. Dab on them, fucking... Duke Nukem hated. Yeah, so... Only Duke Nukem related stuff we had in a while was that leaked build. That's like a leaked build. Now oh, these shoes don't fit his character at all, but whatever. I just needed dark boots. <laughs> he ain't gonna stop. Nice, that was nice and easy and quick. This is the final episode, by the way, I think, because we're about to face off uh, against... Vector? Spectre? What's his name? Uh, Vex. Was it Vex? Yeah, I think it was Vex. He's cool, but I forgot his fucking name. Anyway... Yeah, it's the final episode. Last episode, we did all the remaining co-op levels. We just did the final bonus level, and now there's the final boss fight left. And that's it. And I'm probably gonna make one more episode, one more bonus episode that I'm probably gonna make tomorrow, not today. And I'm gonna record the final time trial, which will be incredibly difficult from what I remember, and it'll probably take me ages to fucking do. But whatever, last episode I went on a fucking long ass rant about what I've been up to recently, so I don't really want to talk about that anymore because it's... I talked about it to death. Until Vex time. Right, final boss. So yeah, we had that leak built of the original version of uh, Duke Nukem Forever. Which to this day, I believe, if they didn't cancel that original version of Duke Nukem Forever... Duke Nukem, to this day, could be like a household name, instead of a forgotten fucking video game icon. Like... For example, when Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, a cult classic fucking game came out, it looked pretty outdated. Like, compared to other games that came out around that time, San Andreas was kind of ugly looking. But it was so fucking huge, and expansive, and long, and totally worth its price, that no one gave a shit that it looked kind of worse than some of the games. It was open world, it was huge, like I just said. If Duke Nukem Forever, the original version of it, came out when it was meant to come out and not took 14 fucking years to develop, people would probably remember Duke Nukem fondly right now. Who knows, maybe we would even be getting Duke Nukem games regularly. But instead, Duke Nukem is 
only now appearing as a cameo in other fucking Gearbox published games. Like, he appeared as a cameo where you could play as him in Bulletstorm, which was kind of like a Duke Nukem game almost. He was like a cameo in like a 2D platformer along with the guy from Shadow Warrior. I don't remember what the fuck that game was called, but it had a Duke Nukem in it. He also appeared as like a playable character in some kind of top-down shooter a while back. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I remember it had Duke Nukem in it. Yeah, he's relegated to cameos. He also appeared as a cameo in my Let's Play of Sackboy, where I made him as a character. And there was like a cancelled Duke Nukem game where he kind of had a design more similar to this. Where instead of like a flat top, he had like spiky hair. He looked kind of like a like if you turned Nathan Drake into Duke Nukem. Turned Nathan Drake bald, I mean bald, blonde, gave him sunglasses, made him more buff, and made him fight aliens. To make things right again. It's too late. Damn aliens. Damn. I, I wish there was like... I wish there was like an edit I would do. Where I'd actually put in like Duke Nukem voice. Here's my best Duke Nukem impression. Hold on. Damn. Those alien bastards shut down my ride. Obviously, I ain't John C. John, so I'm not gonna pull off a perfect impression. But, by the way, I'm actually followed by John C. John on Twitter. I swear to God, if the final boss to this game is just a repeat of every single boss fight we had, I guess, back so far. Except with some additional shit thrown in here and there. That's kinda lame. Vex is so cool, but like I kept saying throughout this game, I think it would have been so fucking awesome and this game's story would have been much more memorable if it turned out that Scarlet's actually a bad guy. And I'm not saying that she would turn out to be the main bad guy, Vex would still be the main bad guy, but basically she manipulated me into pursuing him because he grabbed, he stole all my Dreamer orbs. Oh fuck off. He stole all my Dreamer orbs from me. Like, sure, I still have them, but in the cutscene, he technically still come away from me. Oh, Jesus. Not sophisticated, I grant you, but it works. Yeah, so I, if I had to rewrite this game, I would make it where Scarlet's actually like a sidekick to Vex, and she manipulated me into going on this adventure collecting Dreamer Orbs. Not to stop Vex, but so Vex could eventually take all the Dreamer Orbs away from you, which he did anyway. Because Scarlet is never like present during any important events. She always shows up after I defeat everyone. And she just simply claims that she was like a knitted knight and she's a badass and shit. But we never see her do anything fucking badass. She never has been present in any of the previous games. It's not like we have proof of her being a badass and everything. We never even heard of knitted knights until this game. How about something to lift the spirits? Okay, I guess, I guess out of all the boss fights against Vex we've hit so far, this one's the hardest. See how I but it's still the same boss fight we had all these times before, it's just oh, how I a bunch of shit thrown in. It's like every single trick he has, all at once. I have a hard time actually getting to, getting to any of these bombs. Yeah, so I think Scarlet should have been. Either she should be evil, and maybe they could reveal that Scarlet, like it wasn't the real Scarlet, or maybe she was brainwashed. Or maybe Scarlet was actually like a evil minion that only pretended to be Scarlet, while the real Scarlet was actually dead all along or some shit. As cool as Vex is, because he's... Like, Vex was really awesome at the beginning when he showed up. See how she showed up right after I fucking defeated the final boss fight? Well, she didn't help me at all. She never helped me with anything. I think the only fucking thing she did to help me was, like, give me a fucking scroll at the beginning. 
that shown me something about dreamer orbs being important. Like, no shit they're important, they're the thing I collect throughout this game. I, I did it, that's the boss fight, you'd think like, oh, it's phase one of phase two, right? No, that's the boss fight. Kind of underwhelming, wouldn't you say? For a final boss to just be the... To be pretty much exactly the same as all the previous boss fight we had against Vex. Just with some... Like, with all his stuff thrown in at the same time. Unless we unlock more levels, oh shit. This ain't over. Is it the really final episode though? Won. It's kinda oh, short, ten minutes. As long as my topsy tarva stands, nothing can touch me. Can't oh god. See? Two more levels. Bow before your new god. Jesus Christ, he straight up calls himself a god. Pretty fucked up. Yeah, I guess we're gonna do a level now. That's cool, that means I can put Duke Nukem on the thumbnail. I think Sackboy's like permanently scared now, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I guess we're gonna do one more level because this episode's pretty short. But because I have some time off this week, I thought maybe I could record a lot more videos than I normally do because, well, I'm already, you know, not doing much this week. I'm supposed to be recovering from all the fucking bags of sand that I've been throwing around. Like, sure, I don't feel bad. Like, my back doesn't actually hurt anymore. It fucking killed me, and I couldn't even get up earlier when I started doing that, but... Travel to where? Just to find a boss fight right here, why the fuck would I travel anywhere? But... But, but, but... Honestly, I actually forgot that this was uh, not over. I, I genuinely believe that was the final boss fight. Until we exited the boss fight and I was like, wait a minute. There's like a big door behind us. This isn't over, is it? <laughs> and look at that, it ain't over, let's go. Okay, I guess next episode we're gonna do the final boss and finish this game. The uproar is everywhere. Damn, the uproar is everywhere. Will forever unless you stop him. Just remember, all that Imagisphere energy that you goddamn bastard Vex. to start his machine, it's still a part of you. That's the true power of a knitted knight. We're part of something greater. Sure. You can do this. Sienna, she disappears. What the fuck? What's her deal? Welcome to Vex's unfair fairground. It's a groundbreaking spectacle. You know what they actually have at McDonald's right now where I live? They got this like uh, special menu item. It's fucking. It's apparently like. Not really. I fell in between the platforms. It looked like the platforms were connected to each other, what the fuck? It looks kinda like one platform is higher than the other, not that... But I'm Duke Nukem. Seriously, I just tried to do the laser moves from Astrobot right now until I was like, wait, I mean, that's not Astrobot, so... It's a different game. What was I saying? Oh yeah, that they have a special item at McDonald's right now, which is like some some rapper girl, which if a girl is rapping, you can count on it being fucking dog shit. I already don't like rap to begin with, but like no offense, but fucking girls rapping is such fucking trash. <laughs> like women's soccer. I don't know if you guys ever fucking seen women play soccer, but it's the, the fucking most miserable like, fucking thing I've ever seen. And they complain about not being paid like like male soccer players. Male soccer players are actually fucking like huge celebrities and people give a shit about them play soccer. I don't, but like some people do. For fuck's sake. Look at these fucking hitboxes. I'ma blame hitboxes for this. Not my lack of skill. Cause I got plenty of that. Oh there's a checkpoint right here. 
Yeah, I might sound sexist right now, shitting on women playing soccer, but you have to fucking see it. I would play soccer better than those professional soccer players. And I fucking hate soccer. Kind of a stupid idea to be sticking my head into random holes I find on the ground. Sounds like a setup for a psychological Japanese horror. Like that one with the holes on the wall where everybody fits perfectly into a hole. That's kind of fucking claustrophobic and fucked up. Ouch. Point blank shot. Been eating a lot of Korean food while I was on that fucking mission, like I told you last episode. And I really fucking wish my. Oh, what an asshole. What the fuck, man? It'd be funny if that was like an actual fake orb. Or something like in Rayman, where. Well, like in Rayman, there's like a counter for. Oops, I did tell you this was an unfair ground. <laughs> I guess Vex setting up his own failure in that last boss fight. Maybe he failed on purpose just to fucking throw me off. If that's the case, that's actually pretty cool. Which one should I choose? Well, I'm going in a maze. You always go right, but from Sackboy's perspective, this is right. Came out of that door, so left would be right in this case. You fucking enemies! Damn, they fucked me up. Damn. Crafting bastards. Fucked up my head. I made a let's play of Duke Nukem uh, 3D. And Duke Nukem 3D 20th Anniversary World Tour. I don't know, I'm gonna go in the middle, I guess. And I have to say, I wish to do more Duke Nukem let's plays. I also did a Bulletstorm let's play where I played as Duke Nukem. So I guess you could count that as a Duke Nukem Let's Play. Oh, damn. I was so close. But I would actually like to play Duke Nukem Forever on this channel, unironically. I'd also love to play uh, some of the other Duke Nukem games, such as Manhattan Project. And I thought maybe Time to Kill could be... Like those PS2 Duke Nukem games that are like Tomb Raider ripoffs. Could be pretty decent choices to, uh, of games to play on this fucking channel. Is that a bell stuck up there? It is, I can get to it. That's so fucking stupid. Damn you, you fucker. Son of a bitch, this is kind of difficult with all this shit flying around. Especially the spear drawing guy, he's completely throwing me off. Get it? He's throwing spears and he's throwing me off as well. And the jumpy guys and these guys are pretty fucking easy to deal with. The spear guy? Sack fuck. I would be like a racist slur in the world of sack boys. I wonder who voice acted Vex and who else he did voice act. <laughs> We could oh shit, another fucking auto-scroller thing. Fang, I kinda hate those fucking auto-scroller level bitch. What the fuck just happened? I thought I was... Man, I hate when that happens. Like, I'm... 
I hate when I go for a level and I lose sight of my fucking character and I'm looking at like a direction I was going in but then it turns out my character's not even in there anymore because he got eaten up or some shit like that. Man, what an asshole. <laughs> even two orbs don't like me. That was actually funny. Fucking hell, I jumped. Hard to tell how close to the ground I was, so I could jump again from this fucking angle. Oh, Sacker, there you go. That sounds like a racist slur. Thanks, Vex, for being a horrible fucking racist. Against the Sackling kind. He is using Sacklings as slave labor and his tur tur What the fuck is he calling it? Topsy tur turver some shit? I don't know what the fuck that means. Also, I don't know what the fuck that's meant to be. Topsy turver that's what he does. Do I actually get to go to the finish line this time? Oh, I missed one. That's so lame. I missed one. After such a long level. Oh. I, my dad just showed me this is um, a Tuesday KFC offer for a bucket of chicken. I'm gonna get myself a bucket of chicken, I think. I was gonna look up, actually. What the fuck? I got teeth? I got a megaphone, that's kinda cool. Looks like the icon of the item I just received was like glitching out. Nice. And... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna get some KFC. I don't know. I was going to troutly check what food is available in my town. Because, who knows, maybe there is a Korean restaurant where I live. I doubt it. I feel like I fucking knew if there was. There, there is like a Chinese restaurant. But by a Chinese restaurant, I mean that it serves a bunch of fucking Vietnamese food. Just a bunch of Asian food. It's, it's called a Chinese restaurant, but it serves a bunch of Asian foods from all over the fucking continent. Probably not any Korean. Oh, actually, maybe they do have some Korean food. And there's our sushi restaurant. And it is uh, expensive. I've ordered it a couple of times when it started because I was like... I was thinking that, man, there's like no fucking way a, a sushi restaurant is gonna actually survive in my town. So I'm gonna order from them when they're still not bankrupt. But I don't know, they're still around. My fucking rest, my town is such a fucking dead shithole that... Keeping up a business going here is completely fucking impossible, unless it's a store. You know, like, opening a restaurant and a place where people just stay fucking home all the time, don't fucking bother to go to restaurants, it's fucking completely pointless. You go out into the town and you don't even fucking see people at restaurants, I don't know how the fuck they actually stay in business. Maybe they save up on electricity, maybe they turn off the lights since no one fucking bothers to come to the restaurant. I, I don't know. You gotta cut corners whenever you fucking can, I guess. Alright, this episode's decent length. I guess next step is where we're gonna finish the game, and who knows where that rocket is gonna take us. I think that rocket is only there because every chapter has a rocket at the end of it. So you can go to the other chapters. It's not like it's gonna take us to another chapter after this one, and the game's gonna turn out to be a lot longer. Uh, so yeah, I guess there's one more episode and there's gonna be a bonus episode after that. So see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.